Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making mini caramel apples. I have been so obsessed with little tiny cute food lately. I don't know what it is. It's probably like my biological clock about to explode or something, but you're gonna love these things. Great for all your little fall time entertaining or something fun to do with the kids and so easy. Let's go. Alright, the first step is we're gonna peel our apples. I'm using my favorite Miss Grandma Smith, but you can use whatever kind you like. And now we're gonna get our melon baller and we're just gonna scoop out little balls. That's how Julia Child says it. <laughs> it's so funny! But yeah, okay, scoop out some cute little balls with your little melon baller. I like this little part. It was kind of fun doing that. Next, I have some little sucker sticks. I have my little pan lined with parchment paper. We're ready to go. Take your little sucker sticks and insert them into your little apple balls. All right, now don't let the little sticks go all the way through like this. Mm -mm 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 don't do that. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second, okay? Look at all our cute little apple suckers. They're so cute. Okay, now we're going to melt some caramel. Now, I know somebody's going to say, that ain't no homemade caramel. If you want to do homemade caramel, go to my blog. I have the recipe. We're going to add in a little bit of heavy cream to kind of give it a nice smooth taste. Go ahead and melt it over low heat. And there's that shot that almost got me in trouble on my last video, you guys. I try to tell y'all, I do this shot in all my videos because I was wearing a sweater dress. Some people couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. The booty don't lie. The booty don't lie. All right, so go ahead and just melt that caramel like that. That looks luscious and gorgeous. Now we're going to dry off these little suckers, these little apple suckers. We want them to be really dry when they go into that caramel so it will stick to it, okay? Go ahead and dunk it right. Look at luscious. Look at that. Yes, darling. Beautiful, darling. And now go ahead and dunk it into the ice water for a few seconds just to kind of firm it up a little bit, okay? And then I like to go ahead and just dry it off a little bit like that right there. Perfect. Now when you put them in the caramel, try to get um, some of the caramel on the stick too to kind of seal it in because we have that hole right there and we don't want this water to go down into the hole. And that's why you don't want to put that stick all the way through. Okay, that's perfect. Now normally I work right next to my freezer so when they come out of the water and I dry them off, I just plop them right into the freezer. But yeah, today, okay, whatever. All right, so when they come out of the water and you dry them off, now's the time to dunk them into whatever you're gonna dunk them in. Some sprinkles, some um, walnuts, whatever. Oh my God, you guys, I did walnuts and it was so nasty. It tasted like lightning bugs. But yeah, it was gross. Don't do walnuts. And if you skip that water step, here's what happened. Oh, straight up disease the So don't skip the water step. You gotta do it. I'm gonna place these in the freezer to let them harden up just a little bit more and then we're done! Easy! I love little easy little crafty things like this, okay? But yeah, there's the inside. It was so juicy. The caramel was nice and chewy. It was like, so it was perfect. Perfect little bite. You can find the recipe on my blog at dwisoncook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later!